Wonderful. I just want to come back to this idea of settling in too, right? So years ago, I was at a public library and a man came into view with two toddlers in tow. And he sat down and started to read, apparently expecting them to find their own seats and something productive to do. And of course, within minutes, they were messing with each other and making noise. So then he looked exasperated and got up to leave. He could have taken just a moment to settle each child. Here's a place for you to sit. Here's your picture book. Let's all read for a little while. And probably they could have enjoyed sitting together and reading for a bit. And I feel like it's the same with your body in a project, right? If you're going to be sitting before you start, make sure the chair is a good height. Make sure the equipment's a good height and at an appropriate distance. Get your pelvis situated on the seat, rotate your arms, and then you settle into work and you're going to be more productive and happier when break time comes around. So you don't have to work so hard, you don't have to micromanage yourself all the way through, you just get set in, at the beginning. I even felt just now doing the arm movement that that helped to settle me. So, yeah. Well, I think too there's we live in this modern world and we might think, and we have fancy equipment like computers and things, um, but we're still organisms that live in the world. And I think it's calming to have that, uh, just to have it reaffirmed that yes, I have the ability to reach out and get what I want and bring it back, right? That could be food, that could be anything, but it just, reminding yourself, remembering that you have the ability to do the gestures, I think improves a little bit your confidence. Oh yeah, I I can get what I want in this world, right? Yeah, At least- That's lovely. It's like a metaphor for what you said you were doing with your clients or your students as you're, help, you're helping them to, to get back their joy of doing their work, get back their sense of empowerment or strength or flow. So that's really nice. Yeah. Yes. So I was a literature major, right, which you mentioned before, and yes. I tend to organize my life in stories, and I often relate to my own body and even individual body parts as characters. I hear from a lot of people some variation of my body is failing me. And what I think is often more true is that they have failed to be interested in their body, right, failed to establish a friendly relationship between mind and body. So. If you were going to work on a project with a friend, you'd probably check in every now and then, right? How's this going for you? Do you have everything you need? Would you like to take a break soon? And you might like it if they check in with you. Well, then do you treat your body with that much care and respect, right? If you're going to spend hours working on a project, how's this going for the shoulders? How about the low back? How about the legs? So it can be really enjoyable and it can make a big difference. Thank you.